Hey, Mama Zita. Okay, so it's Monday. You haven't seen me all day because I have been working on getting the first part of this vlog out. The intention was to put the whole vlog out, but as I was looking through the footage, bitch, it, 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 I just, I felt like y'all wasn't going to want to see no whole damn over an hour or damn near, you know, worth the footage. But I did do a poll on Instagram. Y'all was like, bitch, we into that these days. So I know that for next time. And I will just put out a long ass vlog. Also, my thing about long ass vlogs is that when it comes to like downloading that to my terabyte and then uploading it to YouTube, it just gets a little trickier. Like the longer it is, the more trouble I have. And I'm not one of these YouTube girls that has a million plus subscribers who has a system set up where they're in an office on a desktop table. You know what I'm saying? With a computer they have dedicated just to their YouTube shit. Like, girl, I'm using my computer that I use for everything. It's about 30 tabs open on this thing. The way that I work on this, it can be kind of limiting, kind of. It's I still can do what I need to do. But I have definitely dealt with moments where I'm having trouble getting stuff up because storage issues or whatever. It, it's so stupid because I paid for additional storage. So I really don't even know what that's about. I'm not a black woman who works in tech, okay? So that's just not my forte. Why, why is this the screen right now? Like, I'm looking for a moment where I'm cute. Can there be a moment where I'm cute? These vlogs, they gonna be giving you the raw deal. That's the thing about it. Like, you, that was my stomach. I don't know if you heard that. But, um, cause girl, I ate an edible. I've been eating an edible before I go to sleep. Knocks me out real good, real nice. Sleep all night. And I don't even have that issue, but sometimes I want to slumber. You know, today was a long day. Bitch, I'm trying to lay like a log. You feel me? Hard. So, that's why I took a little bite. <laughs> I said, mm, so I could be yunked. What was I even saying? Because it's starting to hit me now. That's why I got to wrap this thing up. Um, kung, 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 kung. Oh, yeah. Y'all going to be getting a real rap raw in these vlogs. I will not be looking cute. Like, lips will be on ash. So with the elbows. Uh, camera's about to die. That's fine with me, girl, because I'm about to beat it. So it's fine. Do what you got to do. But I am proud that I got that vlog up. First week down. Second vlog will be going up tomorrow. Have I finished editing? No. <laughs> Have I even begun? <laughs> so, tons of fun, right? Um, so tomorrow, I will be editing. I will get that vlog up. And I will see you girls either right in the morning or mid or after. But you know what I mean? Tomorrow, my task is that. But I will be vlogging tomorrow, obviously, because we're vlogging every day. So I'm gonna put my camera up on the charger and I'm about to go to sleep, rest. You gotta love it. This week, I will be getting that artwork, artwork. I will be getting that artwork up on the wall. I'm gonna call a friend over here to help me because I need a second set of eyes because it's high and I have a little step ladder. I don't know what I'm doing though. Also, this room, we'll talk about it another day. This is my office that has not been set up yet. I do have a desk set up, but but yeah, I don't have anything else set up in here. It's really not giving anything. So we'll work on this room at some point, but uh, I don't think this week is gonna be the week. I got work to do. Happy week number two. Think. Good morning, friends. Ooh, rusty and crusty. That's okay, honey. Somebody will still take it. Somebody's asking right now, actually. Little do you know. Okay, so I'm about to brush my teeth and I'm not gonna wash my face yet because I'm gonna give myself a nice morning shower and that's where I'm gonna wash my face. I hate washing my face before I get in the shower because I feel like it was pointless. You know what I'm saying? The steam and stuff. Now the steam is opening my pores back up. And it, it's just like, let me just wait to wash my face when I'm in the shower. Also, I, I'm one of those people who somewhat believe in the like, sometimes you don't need to wash your face in the morning thing. Like maybe a little, you know, you clean, you clean up what you need to clean up. But to actually like have to cleanse your skin again, you might be drying your skin out. Like really just look and see like, you know, 
what's my skin need? Now me, I'm watching my face every morning. That's just me. I'm a girl who breaks out. I don't got time to be skipping days. You know what I mean? Skipping mornings. I ain't skipping no damn routine. Don't think I forgot about making a video about these mother suckers, cause I, I, I am. I have one more tray before I'm supposed to be finished. Little do they know, I'm booking a ticket to New York right now because still not happy. So I will be up there to ask some questions and to hopefully round out this whole thing. So my Invisalign process doesn't expire until 2024. For anybody like wondering, we got until 2024 to figure out how we can get the teeth that I want. Which I had to like build some confidence around that because I was definitely hesitant in expressing my discomfort about some things in the beginning. And that happens to me sometimes because I have a tendency to allow people when they're in their profession, I just let them do what they do because I have dealt with situations where I chime in or I whatever and it causes some kind of confrontation. So that's never my goal. I try to avoid that at all costs. And what I realized that there's some people in professional um, professional uh, places that they don't want to hear nothing you say. They don't want to hear that you think it's something else. They don't want to hear that you, you know, look something up. They don't want any suggestions out of you because they think they know best. And in many ways, you do. You're the professional. You learn this in school. Got it. But when it comes to something that is like, um, you know, just based on my own preference, listen up. So like, when it's dealing with hair, we gonna do the hair how I want it, not how you normally do it. When it comes to these teeth, we gonna straighten it the way I wanna be straightened, not some kind of standard way teeth get straightened. I don't want my teeth to be standard. I know exactly how I want my teeth to sit in my mouth. So let's listen to that. You know, it's your job to provide me that, not some kind of general, you know what I'm saying? So we're dealing with that. Girl, <clears throat> right before I left New York, me and them Invisalign girls had a battle royale. Because, girl, let me tell you something. I do not take lightly to people trying to play with me. And so they was trying to play with me. And the thing is, is that I don't ever want you to think like I'm talking candidly here. But when I be in those type of situations, as a black woman, I go out of my way to make sure that I'm speaking so calmly and clearly and concisely because it will be used against you the moment you raise your voice, the moment you show any true emotion, like now all of a sudden you're aggressive. Now all of a sudden you've got an attitude, you're hard to work with, all those things. Even when you do all that and you speak calmly and you, you keep your voice at a certain level, they will still, you, you know, you're giving us a hard time, or you did it. It's like, stop playing with me. So it was turning into one of them situations where they was acting like I was the problem. And it's like, no, 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 no. Let's run this back. And again, I'm gonna make a whole video dedicated to Invisalign so I could really just like let it all hang loose. But long story short, there was an incident where the treatment that I was getting was not okay. I'm walking in, you're not saying hello, you're not offering me to, no type of welcome at all. That's cool, we ain't gotta be besties. But it was right after I had said no to doing something they asked me to do for free that had nothing to do with the services that I paid for. They asked me to be like in some kind of commercial or something. And then when I said I wasn't gonna do it if it wasn't paid, now all of a sudden the energy's changed. That's not okay. And so I never addressed it because I used to laugh at her for acting like that. Like, I, I'm not here to deal with your ego or whatever the fuck you got going on. Handle these teeth. I got a molar in the back that needs looking at. You know, pay attention to that. And so, uh, what happened? So, when I was moving down here, I'm out, you know, before I moved down here, I had booked a, an appointment there. And so, I'm in there and I'm telling them, like, I'm going to need y'all to ship these to me. I can't come and pick them up. Because normally, when I get a new set of trays, I go to the office and I pick them up. Which, by the way, is stupid because the only reason why you're picking them up is so then you can try them on in there, they can make sure everything's whatever. But it's like, if it's not fitting, I'ma let you know. I've been doing this now since 2019. I don't need my handheld for the for the putting my trays on situation, like enough. That's cool, that's a good like offer. Like if you want to, you can come back here, we can do that. But to make it like you have to do that, it's stupid, they need to change that. I'm telling them, you know, I've moved and they'll need to send it to me. Oh, 
well, so then you're ending your service then. I didn't say I was ending my service. I just said you need to ship it to me. Well, because we can't, we can't do that. You'll have to come here. I don't have to come here. I come here so then y'all can see and make sure everything's aligned. If it's not, I'll let you know. Yeah, but, but, but all these buts, buts, buts. I'm like, listen, I'm not going to be here. Moreover, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Send me my motherfucking trash. And so, you know, we going back and forth. And I'm not backing down because it's, it's so simple. Send this to me. That's it. This is something I've already paid for. Send it to me. I even said, I'll pay for the shipping. If it's a matter of shipping costs, I'll pay for the shipping. Charge me. You know what I'm saying? So, we just, we just the, the thing is getting shipped to y'all. Have them ship it to me. Like, it is just that simple. And long story short, what ended up happening? They shipped it to me. But not before they tried to get me to sign some piece of paper that said my service was over and complete. I said, I'm not signing this because my service isn't over and complete. I'm literally trying to talk y'all into allowing me to get my new trays. I still have 14 weeks to go. I'm not signing this that says my thing's over because it's not. What are we doing? What are we doing? And then, you know, it's just attitude. And so that day when I was getting all that kickback, I said, let me let me talk to y'all because I ain't even addressed this because it's so uncomfortable and it was so unprofessional. But let me talk to y'all. And I checked them about their behavior. And she apologized. She said, can we hug? Can we? I said, sure. Gave her a little stank hug. And, and, and girl, let me tell you something. Hug or no hug, I expect for my service to be top tier every time. I expect for me to be allowed to use all that Invisalign provides. I paid $5,000. I've talked to numerous friends who have Invisalign. They did not pay, they didn't pay anything close to that amount. I paid $5,000 because I got my shit from the, the official Invisalign office in New York. So I was tapped. You ain't about to be taxing me and then treating me like I can't get and use every service that y'all offer. I'm gonna, I am going to use every service allotted to me. And I have every right because I paid the price. You're not doing me no favors. And I think that's what it boils down to. I was getting treated like they was doing something for me. Baby, you're not doing nothing for me but your job. And sometimes you gotta get in the ghetto like that. When I tell you, I think, I think people get confused because it's in my personality, the personality that y'all know, for me to be someone who's checking folks left and right. But if I'm being honest, y'all, I really like, I hate confrontation. I hate it because I know I could cut you up. And it's never good after that. You ain't never gonna be the same after that. Now you tiptoe when you see me and I don't like all that energy. I want you to just be regular. And yeah. Anyway, how did I even get to talking about that? Today, can I get my lips unashed? It's Tuesday, April 19th. Today, I'm focused on editing part two of the vlog, getting that up this evening, and that's it. That is the goal today, and I know it's gonna take me all day to do, so that's why I'm not even gonna give myself another task. Yeah, somebody asked me yesterday, like, how I've been handling the hard water in Atlanta, and honestly, I have not dealt with any hard water since I've been here. That's not to say hard water doesn't exist here because before I moved to New York, I had the worst hard water experience of my life. And so I think it varies from building to building, area to area, because I haven't been having any issues. Hair is looking fine, scalp has been good, and my skin has been great. So yeah. And I know immediately when I'm dealing with hard water because my scalp will be so dry. That's like the first thing that I'll notice is my scalp being dry and my skin too. But I haven't been dealing with none of them issues. Everything is moisturized and soft over here. So amen to that. If you are dealing with any skin conditions or scalp issues, you might want to look at your shower head and your faucet and see about getting a filtration system. I don't know much about that process because I've never done it. Luckily, even in New York, there was a filter on my shower. Look into that. Cause I'm almost sure that old building in New York has some rusty pipes. 
Um, and that's basically what hard water is. Hard water is water that's going through a piping system that has rusted and those minerals are coming out into the water. And so it'll be like iron deposits, calcium, all that stuff build up um, coming out the water and onto your skin and your hair and shit. It's really gross and it'll fuck your skin up. Like before, I'm, oh, side note, that just made me think about something. I've been feeling like I have a lot of like mucus in my, in this area, um, which sounds gross, but I wanna do some kind of detox or cleanse because I don't like that. Like when I work out, I'll feel like I need to get something out. And I'm not one of them girls. I'm not spitting on the apple, okay? But I've been feeling something, so um, I do want to do some kind of cleanse. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, bitch, before I got to New York, I was like going through it with my skin and my motherfucking hair. My hair was hella dry and my skin was in one of the worst conditions it had ever been in. I'm talking about before I moved to New York. Yeah, 2014, ooh, not a good year. 2014 was not a good year. It really wasn't, not for my skin. My skin was a mess. Constantly had texture on my face, constant breakouts on my face, like constant. Always had bumps on my face, always. Lots and lots of texture and um it was really bad it was bad my self-confidence was and i had a boyfriend at the time and i remember making like a big deal of it because i always wore makeup around him and when i realized like okay this is about to be my man for some time i was just like i can't live like this no more and so i like told him like today i'm going to wash my face here and you're gonna see me without makeup for the first time and it was like a whole thing like i sat him down i'm crying telling him and he's just like okay like kitty i don't care and if anybody can say that but like when you're really dealing with skin stuff like you're so self-conscious that you know you care you care about how you look because you know that it's something different than what you normally got going on like that was the worst my skin had ever looked so i was really just like I'm, I don't like seeing this. I don't like that it's like this. I washed my face, I came downstairs like, the big reveal, and came downstairs and he was like, you, you still look beautiful. Um, so, I, I share that story to just remind you that it's probably something that more so you are in your head about than other people. So, do I have an appetite right now? Kinda. Not for my big shebang. I was gonna make um, a little egg sandwich. And I guess I should, just so I can go ahead and eat, get that over with. Yeah, I'm gonna eat. After I eat, I'm gonna shower. And then, yeah, so today's weather. Let's see what we got. All right, it's chilly, so I'll be working from inside. It's gonna be in the 80s all week. I have no plans, I don't know what I'm doing, but the fact that it's gonna be in the 80s, I can't take it. Okay, so check this out. I am actually going to, girl, why I really think that I'm on a cooking network? I'm about to um, show you how I make my world famous egg and cheese sandwich. First, we're gonna start out with what ingredients you need. I'll be using one piece of sourdough bread. This is the last piece. This is from the Rustic Oven. I love their sourdough bread. It's soft which is very important. This is a soft piece of bread and I do toast it, but I toast it lightly because you don't wanna be scraping the roof of your mouth. So we're gonna use this, I'm gonna cut this in half and it'll be two sides. Uh, you get it, it'll be a sandwich. So we're not doing that part yet. A lot of what makes breakfast legit is knowing when to cook certain stuff. So then you're not cooking stuff early, things ain't getting cold, you know what I mean? All that silly shit. So. I'm pulling out this mayo. This is a uh, avocado. Uh, um, this is real mayonnaise, but it's made with avocado oil. I'm actually not going to use this one because I'm trying to finish this one. Just regular organic mayonnaise. I do tend to like try and buy the organic whatever. Okay, so we got two eggs here, two large brown eggs, some spinach here. Um, so we have mayonnaise. We have the two eggs. We have that. What sauce did I put on it yesterday? Yeah, I didn't put any sauce. 
These things are up to you. This is just my preferred thing. I will be putting cream cheese on the toast. So a little bit of mayonnaise and then a little bit of cream cheese. I'm gonna be cutting up some onion. I'm also gonna be cutting up some red pepper. Another thing, this seems like a light thing, but I'm telling you it's heavy. Grapeseed oil. Check me out. This is my first time using grapeseed oil in a long time. And what I've noticed immediately is that the eggs cook different. The eggs be light and fluffy. One day I'll cook it with olive oil so you can see it. Actually, no, I'm not, because I'm not gonna waste none of my eggs. I don't know why, but the eggs cook light and fluffy when you cook it with grapeseed oil. Also, these are the best pots. You can find these at TJ Maxx. Just look for that little emblem in the middle. Before I actually get that cracking, I'm just gonna cut up my pepper and onion because I want them to be ready. Now, the pepper, I do not cook. I like my pepper to be raw. Red peppers are sweet, so yeah. If I had some tomato, I would use tomato, but I don't have any tomato at this moment. A good note to people who find it kind of hard to like eat healthy, you should pay attention to making sure there is some kind of colored vegetable in your meal. So today I'll be having red pepper and spinach. So I'm knocking two out the park. I feel like you girls are pretty healthy. But for anybody who needed to hear that, who's been eating bullshit, which we all have one of the moments, we all have a phase where we know better, but we just, we can't stop. Let me take some. I ain't judging, I get it. I really am. All right, so chopping up a little bit of onion. Now the onion I am going to put in there. Now I'm gonna turn my stove on. I'm not going to chop the onion up because I want them to be, be kind of big pieces. And that's it. So basically, after that, I'm gonna put the eggs in there, scramble them, add a little pepper, maybe a little paprika. That's it, I don't be going overboard with my um, spices. Oh, I forgot the most important part, the cheese. This is aged white cheddar. It's delish. Come on over. Let me show you something. We gotta move fast. And for some reason, the oil always comes over to this side. But I need it everywhere. I'm gonna move these out the way. I don't normally use a fork directly onto the pan because I'm not trying to scratch it up. But uh, I don't feel like using anything else right now. A little bit of pepper. And I'm not putting this directly on here. I'm using the back side of my fork. All right, so now that's basically done. Stuff so all the way down, getting that piece of cheese. Just gonna break off some of these stems. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I do be using olive oil on my uh, spinach, just a little bit. Well, a little bit of pepper. Now, Everything is done, because you really don't need to cook the spinach like that. If you just put it on the hot pan, it will cook enough. I'm not trying to kill the nutrients. So I turned the stove off. I'm putting that there. Now, cool. I be like opening everything up before the toast come out, because when that toast come out, I'm moving first. Okay, this might be gross to some of y'all, but you think I care about your judgment? I don't. You do what you do, I do what I do. All right. I don't know what the thing with mayo is and why like it just works, but it just does. I really can't answer that for you. You don't have to use mayo, it's just what I like. But I do mayo and a little bit of cream cheese. It just offers me a little bit of flavor. All right, so we've got the egg with some spinach and the onion. And now we're just gonna put these red peppers right on top. Nothing fancy, just going right on top. Sorry, you can't see that. I'll lift it up so you can see the beauty that has just been created. Ooh, we got stuff falling. But can you see that? You can see it. Yes, you can. Let's take a first bite before my camera dies. 
Made a quick dinner, a little pesto pasta, excuse the steam, some fresh parsley, angel hair pasta, made a little brown butter and pesto, and I put in those sweet apple sausages. It is delicious. Okay, we've got a mystery package because I don't know what this is. Oh, these are cute. They're be cute. They are cute. How cute are these? And again, you got a question? You wanna know where something's purchased from? Girl, can't tell you. And the only reason why I can't tell you is because a friend of mine put me onto this site and out of respect for her, because she told me not to tell nobody. I can't tell you. But these are the other secondhand shoes that I got. These are some vintage Gucci shoes. So I have this shoe in a different color. It's like in this cargo color that has turquoise and orange on it. But the heel is a four inch heel. This is like a two inch heel, not my vibe. This is a kitten heel, sweetie. This is a kitten heel and I ain't, I'm no longer a kitten. So all this does is make my foot look hella long to me. And so I hate it. Like if this had a different heel on it, maybe we could talk about something. This heel is boo boo. <laughs> I was in the club, rolling in the bar, and I saw that man. We do dance. Oh shit, I'm really into house music. I don't know if you know that. But over the last few years, I have been just obsessed with house. I'm definitely one of them people who felt like house music was just for white people. But there is, first of all, house music originated from black people, let's start there. I had to educate myself and an old coworker of mine, she's a DJ, her name is Ashley, she goes by Ash Lauren and she does DJ sets all around the world and she plays house music. She's from Detroit where house music um, is also said to be originated from and man, I'm just, I'm so enthralled. It just gives me all the energy I need. Also, let me be clear, I like black house music, and there's some house that I like that are by white artists, but they're heavily influenced by black artists. You feel what I'm saying? So to me, it's like a white artist might be singing it, but it still sounds black. Do you pick up what I'm putting down? Anyway, I just came from the grocery store and read up on everything. I, well, not everything, but enough for today and tomorrow. I told y'all, like now when I shop, I only like to get things that I'm going to be eating right away because I don't like shit going bad. Like. So today I'm gonna make myself a little portobello sandwich. The portobello is gonna be the meat of the sandwich. And I got these little sandwich thins, honey wheat sandwich thins. So we'll see how we like it. Got some blood oranges, some more tomatoes, red pepper, and a lemon. These are all things that I need all the time in my kitchen. So every time I go to the grocery store, I'm gonna re-up on this. Minus the blood oranges. I'll get whatever fruit is in season. And I don't know if blood oranges are in season, but they had a lot of them in there, so I'm assuming so. I do hate that I use these plastic bags. I guess I can throw that banana away. I was holding on <clears throat> to this banana because I was like, I can make a smoothie with it. Bitch, I ain't made a smoothie since 2019. Also re-upped on some flowers. Let me get this plug in now because I want to smell this. I'm a girl who just likes fresh, like fresh linen, but this coconut and pineapple smelled kind of good. So we'll see, it's probably gonna not be something I want in my house, but it's, yeah, it like smells like candy. We'll see if it stinks. I always check the um, little sale bucket. So all of these were $3 for tulips which I think is such a deal because normally they're like 12 or $13. So I was like, mm, mm let me get as many as I want. Wait, 
We have one fall and slow job. Okay, so what do we want out here in the living room? I think I'm gonna do these two right here for the center. Definitely want the yellow right here. Let's see. Do none of these have flower food? Great. None of the tulips came with flower food. Always cut tips of flowers, even when I freshly buy them. I cut them because in these there's visibly some like browning, so cut them off. Flowers will last longer. Somebody's dog, I think they just got a new puppy. And so their dog is always whining all day. They better be glad I have a soft spot for dogs. Otherwise, calm and complaining. You hear it? Pretty. So pretty. This is gonna be right here. My centerpiece for my kitchen. Now I also keep flowers at my um, vanity. So, and that's this vibe here. I got this vibe from Zara Home. I love Zara Home. They can be a little, little expensive, but if you catch them during a sale, find some good stuff. Pretty. Super pretty. This beautiful vase is also from Zara, and I believe it was like around 40 bucks. I love the crystal. This looks, you know what I mean? Classy. These are not the flowers I typically get for my bedroom. I normally like lilies in my bedroom, but I'm taking a break from the lilies. Cute. So, I have decided that I want to move this rug up out of here because it's just not the vibe that I'm looking for. I gave it a shot, but it's just not the vibe, so going on a little trip. This is actually to keep a rug from sliding. Update on the, what's it called? Air what? Air what, yeah. Um, that smells stinks. It's, it doesn't stink, it just smells like a hair product actually. Like hair grease when they try to make hair grease smell good. Anyway. I'm just vibing out in here, dancing hard, and looking at these pictures and trying to figure out where I really want them. Like, I'm starting to question why aren't I just making this the gallery wall and keep this plain? Um, Cause that's what's starting to feel like more sense. Cause I really don't know what to put there. I was thinking, I gotta work on these angles. Um, but I was thinking putting like three big versions of that. That's like a 36 by 36. No, that's wrong. Whatever, it's big like that, right? I was thinking about putting some big frame, like just one, two, three, four big frame ones. Still don't know what to put on this back wall. There's just so much space that I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, okay, uh, hello, happy Wednesday, oh, happy Thursday, girl. Time is slipping away from me, yeah. <laughs> So, I'm about to make myself a little breakfast. It's 11.48, I didn't get up late, I just wasn't hungry right when I got up, so now I'm about to make myself a sandwich. And the finished product using a honey wheat um, bread. We've got some egg and cheese, spinach, tomatoes, and red pepper. A little basil and uh, mayo. Yummy. Whoa! Oh! Somebody, oh! Girl, mind your business and mind the business that pays you, okay? While you all up in it, because all we gotta do is shake that out. One, couple.
couple of these. I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail. I'm gonna wear my hair out tomorrow. I'm going to a reggae party tomorrow. I don't know what accent that was, but I'm going to a reggae party tomorrow. And um, I'm gonna be wearing my hair out. Hold on. Silk scrunchie. Those days I was editing, I was really just like, that was my focus. I didn't do anything else. So the rest of this week, and this weekend, I mean, it's Thursday. But today, tomorrow, and this weekend, I will be enjoying the outdoors. She was doing. I love you anyway, but still I love you. I'm back. I feel like I have a tan. Um, got some fresh flowers. I actually have a friend coming over. I'm about to cook for them. Girl, I love having a friend over. Uh. <laughs> okay, so I have been going back and forth between this and my simple facial cleanser. This is from Elta MD. This is a foaming facial cleanser. I do really like it. For my sensitive skin girls, I have not noticed any reactions to it. It foams up on your face and I think it's a good cleanser. I feel like it actually cleanses my face. So what you just saw me put on just then was a um, hyaluronic and niacinamide mist from the brand Skin Glass. And uh, this is supposed to soothe and hydrate your skin if you're dealing with inflammation, redness in your skin, irritation, then you'll like this. I like using this in combination with the moisturizer which I'm also going to use in a second I've used a lot of moisturizers and this one is my absolute favorite it's just what it is um, I don't make the rules when something's good it's good bitch um, tonight I'm going to go in with polish choice C15 booster this is vitamin C I was out in the Sun all day and that's not why I'm using this, but I'm just thinking about the exposure my skin had today. And um, I'm really working on getting my spots lightened. I would like to have clear, smooth skin. We got the smooth part. Now we need the clear part. So I put that all down here. I don't put it on my forehead because it makes my forehead break out. And I don't know what that's about, but I'm not gonna find out again. I'll tell you that much. So put that on, put a little bit on my neck and chest, just pressing it on. It's kind of sticky, but I'm gonna let that marinate for a second because what I'm putting on next is a patch from this brand Hero Cosmetics. This is the Mighty Patch for um, dark spots. I also have one that's a surface patch and for like uh, smaller pimples and I use those as well. If it's a white head and you put that on overnight when you wake up in the morning, it's gonna pull whatever was in that pimple out. And uh, you can get them at Target. I have seen some really great results from it. So my only thing with these is that they only put six of them in here. Like all you get is these six little dots. And girl, this goes fast. Oh my bitch, I got spots. Okay, so what I do is cut the little circle in half and split them. Because what we're not about to do is act like we can't split these holes. Let me see where I want it. So you apply it and you press it onto the skin and hold it for 15 to 30 seconds. After all of that surgery, you are so ugly. And that is what gets me. So you're only supposed to take these repeat every two to three days so it's not something you're supposed to do every single night i don't play about my skin so i follow the instructions okay i wait about two to three days before i apply it again now i'm gonna use the moisturizer now that that vitamin c has done its thing yeah um that's it for skincare mm -hmm. Nice and simple. Now they do have patches that are see-through. So then like you can be out and about and they're less visible. Um, I only wear these at night so. And I don't think they have the less visible ones for the hyperpigmentation ones. They have the less visible ones like if you were doing the original patch. They have 
some more discreet ones that you can wear out and about but yeah i just wear this at night and um peel it off in the morning it's not a magical thing like when you wake up in the morning your spot's not gonna be magically lighter but you use this like two three times you're gonna notice um it's lightening up because this right i used to have a darker um spot right here and it lightened up The poop is in the pudding boo. Good morning. I laid in bed pretty late today. I went to sleep. I like won something. Today, what time is it? Let's see if I have any annoying ass emails that are gonna ruin my day. Let's see. I don't think so. Wonderful. Great. No annoying emails. Wonderful. Um, let's see what the weather is today gonna be in the 80s yep it's already 70 to 73 degrees outside it is going to be hot 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 i am i don't think y'all understand how excited i am for warm weather it's been warm in atlanta but man it's i don't care every day i'm i'm happy about the weather like it could have been this weather yesterday i'll still be happy as this weather today i really love warm weather and eventually i'd like to move somewhere that's always warm because i love that shit. so i think what i'm about to do is go out get my walk in maybe i'll go read a book i don't know i haven't journaled in a few days i could go out and take my journal sit out and journal for a second. I made it. I made it, we outside. I have my whole little setup. Got a little blanket, got my journal, got some water, brought a little blood orange in case I get hungry. I'm gonna do my toes while I'm out here in case I wanna wear my feet out tonight. I'm just, <sighs> this is what I call the light. Honestly. So I'm gonna spend, first I'm gonna do my toes and then I'm gonna spend some time doing my journal. It is such a beautiful day. So beautiful. It's literally the most perfect day. Um, there's a nice breeze out here and yeah, it's perfect. This is perfection my allergies they kick in every once in a while like if there's a big breeze then i'll feel it i feel like you can't the the lighting's probably bad because the sun is this way i never take allergy medicine like it's never gotten that bad i just deal with my little symptoms which is just like i'll get a runny nose all of a sudden eyes might start itching or i'll start sneezing but it never gets worse than that i don't my eyes don't swell up i don't feel like i can't breathe or anything like that I could have brought my little speaker out here if I like really wanted to do something. Like I was really trying to come out here and do something. Well, I could have brought my speaker. I honestly didn't have any more room in my bag and I was impressed because I brought my AirPods. People got music playing all up and through. So just kind of listening to other people's vibes and also just enjoying like the sounds of everything around me. Sometimes I like to just be in silence. Like even if it's not silent, like, obviously you're at the park, there's other people here, it's not silent, but I'm silent and I'm just listening to the things around me. And sometimes that, that can feel very good and grounding and nice. So. I'm glad I brought this fucking hat though. This sun is beaming. I'm just gonna be doing this, so I'll check back in later. Bye! I hope no one comes over here and tries to talk to me while I'm doing my toes. Like this is a very intimate thing. <laughs> and also I'm sure someone's looking at me like, is that bitch fucking doing her toes? And yes, this bitch is. I like to do like shit I would do inside the house, outside the house when the weather's nice. Like writing in my journal. Like listening to a new album. You know, if the weather permits, which for so long in New York, like that was just not an option. Like right now in New York, I think it's like 50 something, which is still a beautiful day for New York when they're transitioning into spring. If the sun's out, that feels like summertime. Um, 
but man, it's nice to like be in some good old classic heat. I love the heat. I gravitate towards warm weather. When the weather is warm, I'm immediately in a good mood. Immediately. Oh, I was talking to myself in my house and I was at my, my battery charge. So y'all missed it, but I was just talking about how like, you know, I really wanna date these days. Like I'd, I'd like to be in a relationship. I'd like to share this part of my life with someone. I think that I operate well when I'm in a relationship, when I have that support in my life. And um, yeah, you know, I, I, my love handles are stealing the show. You know, I would love that company and companionship. I would like it in a romantic form. I wanna, I wanna snuggle, I wanna cuddle, I wanna be kissed on, I wanna be hugged. I want someone to, you know, care about how my day is going and like they wanna contribute to my good day and all that type of shit, like I want that. Um, but I was saying how like, I can't find that if I'm not outside. I can't find that if I stay in my house for a majority of the time. Like, you have to go out. And more specifically, like, you kind of have to go out where men are going to be, where they're in that comfortable space where they feel comfortable enough to holler at you. Because, believe it or not, ladies, men, they may think you're the most beautiful girl they've ever seen, but they'll walk right past you because, and I heard this from my guy friend. He told me, like, if it's the daytime, he probably won't holla at a girl because he thinks that it's an inconvenience to her. Um, and that's like a thoughtful man. Like, you know, there's a lot of guys that don't give a fuck and they normally ugly and not the boys you want to talk to. Sorry. But, I, ooh, I hope you can hear me with all this wind. Can you? Probably not. Maybe I'll save this combo for in the house. Bye. This is another great thing to do. Instead of doing it in the house, if the weather's nice, is to come out and stretch outside, if you can. What I was saying about the dating thing, every time I start talking, it get windy. Yo, you gotta go outside, and you have to go to places that guys are gonna be, and you have to think about their comfort level too, like, I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna go out for my walk and maybe I'll see guys while I'm on my walk and working out. But we're both working out and they're probably not gonna stop their workout to try and holler at me when there's a chance that I might be like, I got a boyfriend or I'm not interested. You know, considering all those things, it's like, you might have to pull up to the night function where guys have a little bit more, a little bit more oomph on them where they're like, all right, I could do this tonight like you know a little bit more confidence because we do be turning these niggas down what i love about atlanta too that i didn't experience in new york a lot is open space and not a lot of people new york on a day like this where there's a park it would be packed with people and um yeah atlanta's not nice. What a day. Oh my gosh, just a beautiful ass day is all I had. I have spent all day outside. Do I regret a lick of it? No. I had a beautiful day and the sun is still all the way up, girl. I actually wanna look at the outfit I'm thinking about wearing tonight and just make sure it's cute. You know when you have an idea of an outfit being hella cute, you thought about it all week, and then when you finally try it on and put that bitch all together, it looks a mess? That's what I'm hoping doesn't happen, so. Let's go see. So this is a reggae sitch. So I was thinking of doing something like this. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we've got these Zara knit shorts with this Zara little um, purple tank. Both knit, which I think are perfect because it will cool down. It's not gonna stay 80 all day. Um, into the night. So we're doing that and then for shoes. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Right there. Yeah. Here are, I'm gonna go see if this looks good with that. Hold on. 
Uh -huh. So, it actually looked a mess, but the thing is, um, ain't nobody think about that. It's gonna be so much ass in those pink shorts. Ain't nobody gonna be thinking about, wait, is that salmon? And then the bottoms are pink? Ain't nobody think about that. We in a dark room, it looked pink. Number one, number two, my business. Number three, girl, good night. Number four, um, and number five, I could wear something else. As far as shoes go, I'm wearing that outfit because I've had that in my brain this whole time. That outfit's getting worn. I'm gonna have my hair down, froed out. And I'm just excited to shake some ass and have good ratchet fun. Great ratchet fun. Um, I'm in the mood for that. Um, I had to get some insurance as a freelancer because bitch, I need insurance. I want to get my teeth cleaned. For a long time, I wasn't getting my teeth professionally cleaned. It was like, bitch, I've been cleaning my teeth by myself for so long. Why do I need to go to the dentist? And then all the reasons why I needed to go to a dentist was happening at one time. So um, to avoid that happening again, I go and get my teeth cleaned every year. And so last year I did not get my teeth cleaned and um, I'm feeling it. So I'm gonna take care of that by getting some insurance because I called the place that I like to go to in New York. The thing about the dentist for me is I don't like going to the dentist. So first we gotta get over that hurdle. And the thing that got me over that hurdle was finding a dentist office that I liked. Finding people who I feel like are gentle, they listen to you. And you know why? Because they're mostly women. Not to say all women be listening because they don't. I've definitely dealt with some OBGYNs in New York who were horrible trash, but that's a different story for another time. This dentist office, I prefer it. It's in New York and um, what was I about to say? Oh, they too expensive to be, to be paying out of pocket. Like to get a teeth cleaning with no insurance, it was, I think she said three something. I'm like, girl, pass me the water pick. Okay, I'll figure it out. Home, I don't need y'all to do it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I gotta go to New York anyway because I'm about to be on my last Invisalign tray. So I need to go up there and handle that because I need to figure out one if I'm happy with my teeth. Like I need to decide. Like Kennedy, are you happy? Are you done? And if so, and I won't know until I finish the last one. If so, if I'm happy and I'm done, I'm going to, I have to decide whether or not I want the permanent retainer um, or if I need them to make me my retainer. And I don't want just one, I need two. Cause that's nasty. I'm gonna wear that one retainer for the rest of my life. I don't think so. And since I have the option to get a permanent retainer, since I pay out of pocket, the, since I paid for everything up front, I'm gonna push to get two of them made because it's like, well, what's the cost for a permanent retainer versus a regular retainer? So that means go ahead and supplement the fact that I'm not getting that permanent retainer and give me two of the regular retainer. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to get nobody a hard time, but I'm also not trying to not be smart. Why people do shit like this all the time and they get what they need and they don't get no kind of, no kind of arguing back. It's just, no problem, you betcha, yeah, all that shit. Now I get to ask and now all of a sudden it's, mm, I, we just don't do that, we just, we just, shut the fuck up. Y'all just do whatever a motherfucker want y'all to do, that's what y'all just do, unless they black, then all of a sudden it's, we, we, you know, we have rules, we have to, we, sh shut up, shut up! Tired of y'all. So anyway, that's what I gotta take care of when I go to New York, all my teeth stuff, and then I might be filming a podcast while I'm up there, that might happen if schedules align. So the thing is, is that the party don't start till 10. And since I'm so dry and washed up, and not in looks, but just in vibes, because I don't be going out like that no more. Because I don't be going out like that no more. For me, I'd be like, okay, cool, be there at 10.30. But I know that that's not cool. You know, people probably not gonna get there till 12. But it's like, I'm sorry. What by 12 or 12 a.m. Yeah, I'm still up, but bitch, I'm 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 up by the bed. I'm up by the bed. So I don't know. We'll see what the vibe is, but I'll see y'all when I start getting ready for tonight. This light is probably the worst light to do your makeup in. 
like this yellow ass light because it's not really telling you what's going on. Anyway, let's do this makeup because she said she wants to get there like 10 something. It's already nine something. Oh, I see it's a lot of oil that came out of that. That's why I be shaking shit before I use it. I don't care what it is. I don't care about what consistency it is. Everything needs to get shook or like squeezed around so then it can mix up. This is the um, pore minimizer primer. It's like, do I want to use this or do I want to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer? I should probably use this one because I'm going to be dancing tonight <laughs> and I want my makeup to stay. Um, the pores will just have to pour, okay? So let me use this. I like this as a primer. I was never really a primer girl until like this last year, maybe like these last few months. Um, I put that on, I don't like really rub it in, I just kind of like place it and let that stickiness like do its thing. I wanna put this in all the places where my makeup be moving around. So for me that's my nose, in between my eyebrows, but like, Really my nose. Get all up and through. Down here. Yeah, a light like this, this is not really telling me what's going on with my skin. And this light is making this foundation look like I'm turning into a green damn goblin. Another thing, like this light will have you putting on too much foundation too. Because you can't see. Now try to no. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. If I look ugly, like filming that, if that angle is so ugly to me, you ain't gonna see me doing my makeup, baby. Not gonna happen. So let me sit you up here because it's starting to feel like that whole thing was ugly. And you ain't gonna see it. And we kind of going in with the blush because it's a fun night. We're with the girls and we're having a good time. We're having, we're blushing dolls tonight. <laughs> what did you say? Right? So we, we really, we taking it there. I got cheeks, okay? You gonna see them. Spicy blush for a spicy gal. Okay, so now it's time to get dressed. I'm gonna get dressed and come back and see you because I have to let my battery charge. Bitch. So, be happy. Bye, dude. Do I look good? Yeah, I look good. Come on. Come on, come on. Don't even play yourself. Don't even play yourself. Yeah, think about it from this angle. You can't be looking at yourself with the light like above you and there's no light here. Like, of course, you're going to look like a monster. Look with the light at you. Okay, see you in a sec. Let's talk about it. I said, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I said, let's talk about it. Uh, hey, hey, Mr. DJ, so I'm on the replay. Mr. DJ, won't you? Shout out to my motherfucking Caribbean Kang. Cause baby, one thing about me, I'm gonna wind do is, wind do is, hunk a lucka dooka dooka pooka unka gay, hunk a lucka dooka 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 out anywhere because I'm so lame. I didn't dance last night for real. I, you know, did a little two step, a little dunga dunga, dunga lunga dunga. But the reason why was because he was barely playing reggae. He was playing a lot of Afro beats, and even when he was playing reggae, I didn't know a lot of the music. And so I also was with a group of people who I don't really know. So it's like, am I really gonna be throwing ass right now? 
you know I'm more of an observer I'm more of an observer anyway and so but whenever I start dancing I feel like everyone starts looking and they form a circle around me and it turns to this whole thing I just be like uh 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 I do not have time for the whole club to be worried about me but it's like girl I don't think anyone's worried about you so it's definitely things I have to get over because my homegirl was dancing her life away last night just having a great time she looked beautiful meanwhile I'm like I hope she don't think that I don't know how to have a good time, because I do, but I really am an observer. I really am. Anyway, yeah. I'ma just chill today. Girl, <laughs> I look, I look. I actually just got up from a nap. I have been asleep most of the day, and I ain't mad at it, okay? I need a rest, so I took it. Um, I slept a day away. Tomorrow I'll be do. I'll do something. I spent my Saturday chilling, big chilling. I'm about to twist my hair up because, as you can see, it's dry as a rock. I'm using the curl smoothie from Maui Moisture. It's a good hair twist situation, and just my spray bottle. Hey, but if men grew up with institutionalized catcalling, they would be. <laughs> More aware of, you know, flash. This is my go-to. This is how I do my makeup. These are the products I'm using currently. Brushes, technique. This is how I'm doing it, and I feel like my makeup looks pretty good. Lately, I've just, I haven't been, first of all, I'm not wearing as much makeup. And I'm also in this phase where I feel like I look better without makeup. So it's like, you know, I'll put makeup on and I'm like, Okay, it's on, but I do really like how I've been looking without makeup. I feel like my skin looks better. I feel like I can just see makeup on my skin and that's what makes me not like it. Anyway, starting off with a SPF. This one is from the brand Elta MD. I used this first. It does look white casty at first, but once you get it all in there, you're good. But the SPF part's really important, y'all, cause, cause, at this point, I know you know, so enough already. So I'll put that on first. The only thing about an SPF in makeup is that if you plan on using a primer, you wanna, there might be a chance that they don't work well together. So let me see, this is my first time using this primer from e.l.f. This is e.l.f.'s Poreless Putty, supposed to be universally sheer for everyone. First time using this, I have been using this Makeup Forever um, Poreless Primer. I think this works okay, but it's not a game changer to me. So let's see what this one's talking about. No smell, okay, it's like a balm is the best way for me to describe it. And I think the best way to apply a primer, especially when we're talking about one that's supposed to help make your pores poreless, is to use the lightest hand. So I'm a, I kind of like smeared that on, now I'm just tapping it with my ring finger into the skin. And I, I might do another layer of that because I don't think that did anything. I feel like I'll know right off the bat if a primer is working from what my skin looks like with no makeup. And to be honest, it really didn't do anything. Like I don't see a difference in the way my pores look. So this might not be the one. What if I press it in? Yeah, not really seeing much of a difference. Let me see what the instructions say. Directions apply a thin, even amount to moisturize skin prior to makeup application. Allow to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation. Um, I'll try this a few more times and see if it's worth purchasing. It's very cheap, so if you wanted to uh, try it for yourself, I think it was like $4. Okay, so that has sit on there for 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Sometimes I'll start with my foundation, sometimes I'll start with my concealer. It just depends on what I'm trying to do with my makeup. I'm gonna start with concealer today 
because I feel like when you apply the concealer and you blend it in, you can tell how much foundation you need. And most times you don't need as much foundation as you normally will use. This is the Skin Glass in Rose Gold. I'm gonna put this in my temple area. I just do one drop. That's all I be needing, but use however much you want because it is kind of addictive. It's just a nice natural glow, help amplify your natural glow. And I've really been liking the rose gold color lately. Concealer, I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the color Medium Beige. I really like this concealer. This is going right where I want it, which is right there, covering up the darkness up under my eye. And then I look and see where else would I mind this being covered. So I'm just kind of making a C right here. i do the same thing over here. I don't dip back in, but just kind of like that whole area. We gonna, um, we gonna do some work on. What I sitting in there marinating, I'm gonna brush my brows up. I bought this soap brow stuff from e.l.f., but I don't really know how to use it. So um, I'll have to make another video of me trying that stuff out. Go ahead and do these. This is the Joa brow pencil in the color black brown. I do like this pencil. Now, blending out my concealer. This is the number 56 brush from Sephora, and I do have to say that I'm obsessed with it. Um, I use this brush for my foundation and to blend out my concealer. Um, it's a very soft, fluffy brush, but it is, is dense the right word? Basically, like, it's packed. I don't know, I like it. Good brush. Yeah, that primer didn't really do anything, but luckily my skin has been doing really well. And I know it's because I'm not wearing as much makeup and I'm not wearing a mask as often. In New York, I was wearing a mask a lot, but girl, the way Atlanta act, ain't nobody wearing no mask out here. I'll wear a mask if I'm like at the mall, but, or if a store like requires it, but it's very rare for a store to require it here. Putting a little bit between the brows, but uh, that's it. So you, um, if I like get all up and through, you see how like, I need very little coverage for the rest of my skin. I have some hyperpigmentation going on in some areas, so I'm gonna cover that up, but, and just like to make my skin look even, I'm gonna put on a foundation, but I don't need a lot. And I feel like when you put on your concealer first, it'll help you to gauge how much foundation you need. So the foundation I've been using lately is the Light Reflecting Foundation from NARS. Hold on, I got an itch. So, the uh, Light Reflecting Foundation from NARS is the one that I've been using lately. I'm using the color Syracuse. I like this. Um, this would not be my shade for the whole year. This is good when I don't have a tan. This has more of a green undertone to it, an olive undertone to it. I do have olive undertones, so that works in the wintertime, but as soon as it's summertime and I have a tan, I'm more golden undertones, and so this will look kind of funny. And because I've been sitting outside in the sun these last few days, I feel like it might be giving green goblins. So we're gonna see. I'm just gonna use a little bit. Only a little bit comes out per pump. There's a pump. It is a pretty watery consistency. I guess not too watery. Watery to me is more watery than like a MAC foundation. 
Um, okay, so I still use the same method with my foundation, which is to stipple. So I go right over areas that have hyperpigmentation and stipple. And then the places that don't have hyperpigmentation that I felt like I didn't really need foundation, I'll use whatever excess is on my brush to just like make sure it doesn't look splotchy or crazy. So like I didn't put any foundation right here and I have a little hyperpigmentation there. Low key, like nowadays I'm at a place where like I don't mind if a little bit of hyperpigmentation shows through because I like for my skin to look very skin-like and natural. Like my goal with makeup is not to uh, cover everything up. That's not my mission these days. Um, great coverage on this foundation, by the way. Great coverage. Does exactly what it's supposed to do. This is why I love doing my makeup in the daylight because doing this at night, I would have used so much um, foundation and I didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. So this is me using the excess foundation to just like go over all my skin, just to make sure everything's even. Notice I didn't put any on my um, lids. I've been leaving my lids blank. I'm gonna tap a little of the excess on my nose. This tail of this brow is killing me. I don't put foundation on my forehead because it looks weird to me, on me. The foundation is never matching my forehead. My forehead's always been darker than the rest of my face. Okay, so that is my whole face. And now you'll see we've got a nice, even complexion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna warm up the face. And I'm using the Sephora uh, Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder in the color Toffee. And I'm using this big fluffy brush that I got from Sephora. This is the Pro Powder brush in the number 50. I'll use this to contour just right over where we went. And I'm doing a tapping motion and not a sweeping motion because I find that sweeping will move makeup. So we don't want to move anything. So we're tapping, take it all the way up to the hairline so it's all just blending and meshing into this area here. Don't need to warm up the forehead because again, my forehead is darker than the rest of my face. It's already warm. Can we get into the smoothness of the skin though? Like when I was close up, I don't know if he was picking up what I was putting down, but like the fact that I don't have any texture on my skin these days, Glory be to God! It is Sunday, so praise him. Um, now I'm gonna take the brush. I just did one dab into the powder and I'm going to sweep my eyelids with this. I like the darker look on my lids, like a natural darkness on my lids. So I do that and then I'm gonna do the sides of my nose. A little messy contour situation. Now we have a contoured face. Now, let's get into the second step for my brows, which is using the Wow Brow um, from e.l.f. in the color, I don't think it says a color, but I think it's darkest brown. It's the dark brown color. Basically, if you got black hair, this is what you're using, or dark brown hair. I just use this to brush the brows up, It'll help the brow kind of stay. It's not the best product on the market for this thing, but it is, I think, one of the cheapest. It does the job to me, and it's what I use when I'm doing no makeup looks. Now, for blush, we're going in with the Skin Glass Blush. This is just skin, skin, skin. This is the color Spicy. Um, this looks a mess, but it's only because I use it every time I do my blush. I'm also using the Skin Glass Brush. And uh, yeah, really, really, really nice blush. 
that I think works really well with the rest of the products that I'm using. And I really like the color of that blush. It's a good natural color. And it looks different on different complexions. So I would advise you to go to the Skin Glass Beauty Instagram page and look and see what it looks like on different complexions. Because you might get this look from a different blush. Kind of working it into the cheek slowly but surely and I am tapping, not sweeping as you can see, but slowly I worked it into the apple of the cheek. Sometimes I go like I'm in this phase where I don't want to do that, where I just keep it where the contour is, but lately I've been putting it all the way down. Now I'm taking the foundation brush and just like tapping, lightly tapping where the foundation meets my concealer just to make sure everything is like working together and it's not looking splotchy or stupid. Cause again, the point is to look effortlessly gorgeous and natural. And so, yes, it's like, yes, I'm wearing makeup. Yes, you can see that, but it looks good. Like somebody sees me with a full face. I want them to say, she looks good, you know? I don't wear powder. I do own powder, and if I was going to powder, I would put a little powder maybe here in these areas, maybe right here. Um, but I'm not going to powder because oh, I just don't want to. Now for mascara, I'm using this mascara from Maybelline. This is the tube. The sky high uh, Maybelline and it's okay I think the formula is a little light for me and I just feel like you still can't see my lashes after I apply it but that could just be because it's something new and just feels different but also it is a lighter formula Now, if I was going out and about, I would do a half lash on these lashes, put a little lash on the end to really make my eye like go like that. Oh, look at the difference between this and this. Oh yeah, but the half lash trick, and I call it a trick because it really does change the way, I think it changed the way your eye shape looks. Um, that's a game changer for me, I love doing a half lash, but I'm not going to do it today because I just don't feel like it. Now, sometimes I want the under eye to be a little bit brighter, so I'll add this Maybelline Superstay um, concealer, and this is in the color 30, but I'm not doing that today because we're keeping it chill, we're keeping it light. My last step, well, one of the last steps, first I'm gonna do my lips, and I'm using the new Skin Glass um, lip gloss in the color Muse. I like this uh, lip gloss a lot. It's a great everyday gloss too. Kind of similar to Supple, but Supple has more berry undertones and I feel like this has a more brown undertone. Now the last thing that you can do is something to set your foundation. This is the Airbrush Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna do this just for shits and giggles, but honestly, I don't know if this is really doing anything at all, to be fair. I don't be feeling like there's a huge, big difference. Now my last step, so, so my moles that I covered up. Bring my moles back to life. Bring my moles back to life. I think that's good. I think that's good. I always go back to the brow and like brush a little bit in the front off. You don't wanna be looking like, you know. Honestly, that's it for makeup. Let's do a, a check, a close up check. 
Mm -hmm. We're talking about flawless. We're talking about flawless, right? But that's the makeup, and I feel like I do that in under 20 minutes, um, so it's kind of quick. Everything that I used are things that I've been using for a long time, except for the um, e.l.f. Primer. And by a long time, I mean I've been using them consistently for like the last at least 10, 15 times I've done my makeup and they work with my system. So I am co-signing everything. Put on the glasses. Yeah, with my glasses on, like I could tell that that poreless primer did not make me poreless, bitch. It really didn't. I'm taking a small brush and I'm just going to create a little bit more depth on my, um, oop, that was a lot of product. I'm gonna create a little bit more depth on my lids. First, I'm gonna take off and I'm just gonna add this to my lid. Well, it's like gonna be all right here. A little bit of depth, a little bit of depth, a little, a little, a little bit of depth. I like that look. I like that look. You can skip this step if you want him, but I like this look. I don't know what the camera's picking up, but it looks good in person. Then I take my foundation brush and just like tap to really make sure it looks natural and it don't look crazy. There is some creasing with this um, concealer, but isn't there creasing with every concealer? Honestly. Like I was saying, this is the uh, makeup routine and I'm liking it. It looks good. I'm mad at it. Tink, tink, and we're done. It's 12-12. Um, okay, so this is another dress from that brand, Dish. It's just like straight down like this. There are pockets. Pop. Got a pocket. I think this is great, especially for expecting mothers. Can you imagine? You got a big belly in there. That's cute. Um, but yeah, I love a free flowing dress. Um, I'm just wearing some Birkenstock sandals with them. But yeah, just a cute little dress. I didn't take my twist out because I just didn't feel like it. it just felt like a wasted release of the twist. So I'm gonna leave them in here. They look juicy and healthy, so. You know, when they cute, they cute. Um, I'm gonna go do some work and outside for a little bit. I need to transfer things and start the process of editing this week's vlog. Um, this week's vlog is definitely not a lot going on. <laughs> like, plain and simple, it's not a lot going on this week. So I'm not gonna be surprised if it feels dry, but I know you girls wanna see it anyway. So it's getting edited, today's Sunday, it's editing day. So I'm gonna go and do that. And um, yeah, battery's about to die, perfect timing, cause I'm about to be out while you over here trying to make a scene. So yeah, um, I'll see y'all when I get back. Girl, I came back inside because my computer was dying, but now I'm dying. Cramps done got you, girl. We was off to a good start, but they didn't tell your ass up. It all just, it happens just all in one time. I'm down. Mayday, mayday. Mayday, mayday. So right now I'm in my I can't even move phase. I'm hungry, but I can't move. So I'm just sitting here with the sun on me because that kind of helps. The heat of the sun is helping a little bit. Now, why would you keep honking? Anyway, um, I'm gonna sit here and try to remember why I like being a woman. Nine million. My client, Jamie. Watching Selling Sunset, of course. It took me a while to get into it, like to start watching it, but once I started, I was like, okay, fine, I get it. I get it, I get it. Just white girl drama. And really like, they really have this sweet spot of like giving us the little bits of drama, which are so like surface and like, 
just white girl respectfully but yeah um but also like seeing all these beautiful homes and like watching how they do their job like um it's interesting interesting it's also just another reminder that black people don't be having access to this type of stuff because they ain't got no black girls in this office this is the office to work in if you want to sell high-end real estate and yeah they ain't got no black people in there and i'm not surprised i think they think they was doing something when they did uh selling tampa but selling tampa was a mess and looked like it was thrown together I did not enjoy selling Tampa at all. There were parts of it that I thought were like enjoyable to watch, but I didn't like the overall feeling. Just felt thrown together. I took some Advil. This isn't that sweet. So I'm feeling better now. Made myself a sandwich. And after I eat this, brush my teeth, I'll probably watch one more episode. 5.55. I keep catching the clock when all the numbers are succinct. Honesty hour in the magic hour. One time for the one time. Look at the creasing that's happening up under. Can you tell? Yeah. Well, that's makeup build up. From, hey, why does it look so bumpity crumpity? Okay, maybe you need to back up a bit. <laughs> Gonna be honest with you, I feel so cute in this dress. I've gotten compliments all day. Um, not about the dress specifically, but just like, you look really pretty. And so, you know, when I get compliments like that, I feel like it's like about a feeling thing. And I feel good because I look good. I feel comfortable. And yeah. Mm. Got the flowers in the short, darling. I need to start thinking about where I want what. And instead of just, I need to stop saying, I need to stop thinking about it, and I need to just do it. I'm trying to figure out why it ain't got done yet. Cause now we on week two of me literally saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it. I ain't picked up a hammer since. And I know this is ugly. Like, I know that what this look like with a little thing and a little thing, I know that that looks ugly. But it's something about me knowing that I'm still a bad bitch that I wouldn't even gonna say, See, that's not cute, me doing that. It's gnats, it's a gnat. Oh, girl, and then the amount of gnats that's in this water right here, this, um, my sunflower water. Girl, talk about bloodbath. <laughs> uh, I guess my sunflowers don't play that. They're on patrol. When I tell you that's basically swamp water, the amount of gnats that are in there. Okay, let me show it so then you know that it's not actually like, whatever you thought it was. But if I get on there on the bottom, if I get in on the bottom a little bit, oh yeah, you see like that little black thing floating around? So you'll see a few of those in the, there you go, there you go, there you go. Rest in peace. And there's like two over there. That's what I mean, my blood bag. And let me tell you something. I'ma keep it that way. I'ma keep it that way. Cause, okay, tired of swiping. So, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm picturing, I don't know, like something growing. Well, I am feeling very top model right now. I don't know what it is. I think it's me feeling like I have my hair in cornrows, but I don't. But from this angle, it looks like it is kind of thick as cornrows. Ooh, I have a vision. The fuck off at the top, right here in this corner. Which is okay in that corner. Oh, let's play around a little bit. Uh, I mean, fuck that. Get. Um, anywho, this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the night, and, um, just going to keep trying to figure this out, start looking at where things, how it wanted to go. 
I don't know how else I'm gonna make sure everything is straight, especially me just by myself. And I'm not doing this right now, but um, I'll probably do this on Tuesday because tomorrow I'm gonna be editing all day. Yeah, I'm gonna get up early. So actually, I'm going to go to bed and I can do this on Tuesday. Good night. It's been a good night.